So this video is about random grouping and I've got a new way for you to make it happen. So for the last few years, I've followed suggestions from Alex Overwick, who followed Peter Lowell et al. to have random group groupings in class every single day. That's right, kids sit in different spots each day with different people. And like Al, I use playing cards to match them up. A student would walk in the door and grab a random playing card out of my hand and then find that matching one on the desk. The class would then randomly be placed in groups of three. It's easy, right? I grew tired of always using cards. I wanted to mix it up. So last year, I used different colored popsicle sticks, and then I created slips of paper, and then I created equations on those slips of paper, and then I used different colors of paper. So this coming semester, I'm using these new cards I created. Below, you can download them and print them out and then laminate them. They have different ways to match. Just tape the master card to a group of three desks. And then for example, a kid would grab a card. And then maybe today I just say that we're gonna match by color. And so when you grab that card from me at the door, you go and sit at that color. But tomorrow I may decide to match symbols. And so then you go and find that symbol, like the gear, you'd sit at the gear table. And maybe the day after that, I'll match expressions. And so then you have to simplify this expression, get a value, and then go and find that answer and that number. Pretty easy. There are 12 colors, 12 symbols, 12 shapes, and 12 numbers that match expressions. So 36 cards in total. And if you're like me, you only have 24 kids. Then you can get rid of a few colors and it'll still work out. So grab them below and have fun mixing it up.